We don't do politics. What we do is called patriotism. We are live on Pan African TV, live on Loud Silence TV. We are also live on Black Empire TV, our own TV, and Ghana Web TV. This is the Black Port, aka Kuku Shounamo. And here we speak truth to power. Please subscribe to our YouTube page. It's called Black Empire Media. Gather the numbers. Let us spread the message. We are dealing with the mindset. The mindset. The biggest problem of Africa is not food. It's the mindset. If the mindset is right, Africa would be the capital of the world. We have everything we need to succeed. As Nkrumah said, what is derailing us is our attitude. Once the attitude is right, every other thing will be righted. Let us fix our attitudes. And within one year, if we don't become the capital of the world, call me a liar. This is the black pot. Our numbers are rolling on the screen. We need you to do business with us. Let's succeed together. Next item I am looking at today is scrolling on your screens. Temamotowe, erosion of legacy. Kwame Nkrumah built the Temamoto way. He built the Temamoto way in 1965. He was able to garner and pull resources from different, different sources. And he built the Tema motorway. Keep the date, 1965. At the time, there was also the M1 in London. It's longer than the motorway we have here in Ghana. In fact, they finished their motorway in 1968. They started a little earlier than 65. But they ended in 1968, long after the motorway in Tema was done. It became the first motorway in the whole of Africa to link two different cities. In fact, a BBC journalist came to look at the commissioning and he reported on BBC in 1965 that the interesting thing about the Temamoto Way in Ghana was not only that it was the first of its kind in the whole of Africa, but that it was a motorway where you could stand for hours and would not even see one car going on it. It sounded like a mockery. It looked like, oh, you don't need the motorway actually because the motorway is here. Cars are not even passing by and not using it. Unlike the one in Britain that was very busy, even at the time was uncompleted. But Nkrumah had a vision. The motorway became one single product that became part of the middle names of Kwame Nkrumah. Very powerful, solidly built. From when the motorway was built in 1965, it has never seen any major reconstruction. It tells you how much energy was put in it. Today, when you go on the motorway, find me the photo of Kwame Nkrumah. We shall use it. Watch me. Today, when you go on that motorway, you will see iron rods that were used in 1965 coming out as if to say, why? Please, don't you understand the common courtesy of maintenance? Sadly, when Nkrumah finished building this in 1965, the following year, he was overthrown. They said he had run down the economy. At the time he had built this heavy motorway, I do not know how they feel. Sons and daughters and grandsons of those traitors who removed Kwame Nkrumah, anytime they drive on the motorway. I do not know. How Nana Akufuado, whose father was a ceremonial 
head of state in this country, after Nkrumah was overthrown, they were those who came together, running to the Ivory Coast, to secure bombs to come and bomb Kwame Nkrumah. I don't know how all these guys feel from the UP family, how they feel. Anytime they drive on the motorway, they said Nkrumah was over ambitious. He built the Akosombo Dam. At the time, our population was nothing to write home about. We were encouraged to use electricity. Use it profitably. Just use it. Electricity was almost at a zero cost. Today, my brother, my sister, the Akosombo Dam became the savior. It was the biggest in the whole world. Man-made dam at the time. Even the Russians said it was over-ambitious. The Americans in their Cold War did not even want to hear about it. But that was a visionary leader, Kwame Nkrumah. Today, the motorway. Do you have the photo of Kwame Nkrumah? Bring it out. This man, a powerful visionary, he did all that. 1965. From that time till now. 1965. From that time till now. My brother, my sister. 57 years, right? Am I right? 1965. Yes, there about. 66, 57, there about. I think I'm right. Yes. 1965, all the way down to 2003. That's how much? 57 years. No major works done on the road. That's about 57, 58, right? It's crazy. Yeah, about 58 years now. Look at the motorway. What are they saying about the motorway? They say it's a death trap. Watch it. Tell my motorway is gone. Apply common sense when driving. Dash this away and bring me another headline. Drivers, commuters, describe the motorway as death trap. Oh, Jesus. Run the story. Come here. Drivers and commuters are unhappy at the current state of the Accra Tema motorway as more manholes spring up on the express highway. Manhole, my own. They are not potholes anymore. They are manholes. They describe the Accra Tema motorway as a death trap. It's a death trap because you cannot call these potholes a road. Although governments have over the years promised to reconstruct the road, this is yet to happen with further deterioration posing a serious threat to motorists. Oh, Jesus. This looks like somebody's grave. This looks like somebody's grave. A desecrated grave. Now the word desecrate has become so popular in Ghana. This is a desecrated legacy of Kwame Nkrumah. This Tepa Motorway, as published by my joy online. Look at it. Oh, Jesus have mercy. Kaya barababab, kasha barababab, kabala la 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 la. My God. See where you're going, my brother. In fact, this looks like a grave. A looted grave. That's Tepa Motorway. They tried to patch it. Motorists got so angry, they tried to patch it. But no, you cannot put an inferior patch on such a powerful 1965 patch. Kwame Nkrumah did this. Watch. Watch those zigzag lines like the map of Colombia. Watch it. Tema Motorway, built by Kwame Nkrumah in 1965. We're so ungrateful, we kicked him out. A year after, this is the history of the Tema Motorway. The highway was open to traffic in November 1965. So that gives us about 57 years. 
This year will be 58. The highway was open to traffic in November 1965 to link the harbor city of Tema to Accra. It was built under the administration of Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. Its construction was fashioned after the Autobahn in Germany and was purposed to be the first in motorway systems that will link major towns and cities in Ghana. Bring me the beginning of this, the Temamoto Way. Watch it. The Temamoto Way is how long? 19 kilometers. That's about 12 miles. And it's a highway that links the Tema township, city, to the Accra township, city, in the capital of Ghana, Accra. It is the only motorway in Ghana. The only one in other African countries, they are still dreaming to have this. In some African countries, they don't even have proper traffic lights. The visionary thought about all this. Come here. My brother, the spirit of Nkrumah must be pacified and upheld. Are they intentionally desecrating his legacy? Are they intentionally trying to ruin the country and run it down like the way they run down the economy? Today, they would understand what it means to say patriotism. If you don't have it, you can pretend as much as you want. Your true self will come out. Say a prayer for Nkrumah. When you finish, ask for forgiveness and say a prayer for Ghana. Ghana has been taken over by unpatriotic bomb makers and wicked people. When I return, we'll talk more. Hey! Hey! <laughs>